Hey guys, welcome back to our Max Brothers video. In this video, I'm going to be overall explaining... Why is it so dark in here? I'm basically going to be overall... Exp yeah, why is it so dark in here? What the heck's going on? Because just going to be explaining the overall point max value thing and the the point change because of it. They're, they're pretty much the same, just an extra thing. And I'm going to be explaining the skill cards that and why their uh, spells are being replaced with skills. So... Let's start off with the point max value part. So, pretty much the point max value is where... Okay, so it changes where instead of you and your opponent having 20 health points, which basically means if you get to zero, you lose the game because you die, and you can't go over that 20, so you just have to, like, heal yourself when you get low and then damage your opponent when you're at a good amount and try to get them low to, tw uh, to zero. So... Instead of you and your opponent both having 20 points, you have a point max value, which basically means that... I It doesn't really make that much sense. I might change the name. So you both start off with 35 points at the beginning of the game. This is going to change right away, depending on your deck. So let's say, let's say my deck was these three. Gargi's buck a near buckety buck and then we got the green oh boy oh look at that boy get it boy big chin oh wait, no 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 this is big chin and then <laughs> he got a beard on his chin then we have blood force in our deck and let's just say we have um a colored easter egg no i'm just kidding that's mini protect we're gonna be we're gonna bad that art is these are bootleg by the way these aren't the real things i didn't even try at all so here we go so let's say this is my deck so, before, you had to pay these points to play them, but now you don't. There's also another thing right here that's different. I'll explain that in a little bit. So, now, this is what happens. Basically, to have these cards in your deck, you have to, you have to pay for it. So, imagine... Alright. Imagine you bring $35 to a store, and you buy all this stuff. Right? How much money do you have left after you buy this stuff? That's pretty much what the point max value is. So let's see. We have 35, 34, 31, 29, 26, 24. So, I mean, you don't have to write down the 35. I'm just doing it to help you guys. So for the this match against... Alright, so this match, me against Invisible Boy o Greg. I have 24 points of health to fight him with because of the cards I used in my deck. So, because of the point max value, it really makes deck building pretty big now, which is one of the biggest strategies in match builders. And the skill cards also do make deck building because now you can use multiple skill cards a turn. And I, I got a starter deck strategy for you guys. It's all oh, it's out of the water. It's grand spanking good. Here we go. Next deck. Enough of this. We have... Let's say their deck is Big a Chin Giant, Weblord Barrow, ooh, creepy, and Majestic Dune Boy. Oh, get off the sand dunes. Here we go. And let's say they have a sweet neck. No, that's way too heavy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's say they have a sweet nectar and a donation. So, so here we go. So, same thing. They have 35 points to bring to the store, and they buy all this stuff. So, what do they have now? So, now they have, oh, crap, I gotta put these down. So, they have 35, and they have 32. Oh, crap. We have 32, hold on, 27, 23, 18, and that's it because the other one's zero. So now, when we play, if he uses this deck, he has 18 points of health to fight me with. So you're probably thinking, okay, all right, that makes sense. But look at my battlers. I have, I have a 1, a 2, and a 3 point, which 4, 6, 7, and 5, 3, and 5. And then he has a 3, a 5, and a 4 point. Look at that. 6 and 8, 7, 9, 5, 7. So his cards are a lot stronger. But because they're stronger, they lowered the amount of health that he has. So that's pretty much what's going to balance the weak cards compared to the strong cards. And also the skills also affect it. So that's pretty much how I solved the problem for making stronger cards too good. Because I've been testing with this and a deck kind of like this, except it was 22 to 15. The deck with 15 points won. I was amazed how, because 15 points is, like, really nothing. And uh, I think they had, like, a card that was, like, had to be buffed or something. Because I also did get rid of a few of the skills. I, th I have 13 skills right now, and I want to get 18 at least. 
Okay, now that I explained the the but the the shopping thing, I don't know what it's called. Point max value. I'm gonna explain this thing. So this one I could probably explain in like three seconds already. So basically, what it is, I refilled. So instead of uses, which basically means that um, this is how many times you can use the spell. Well, now there's skills. So let's say let's say we got a skill. What's a good one? Oh, what, where is it? Where is it? This is a really good example. Where is it? Where's the beast? <gasps> oh, I I have it in one of the decks. Here we go. Let's say it's Sweet Nectar, right? So Sweet Nectar can only be used on my turn because it says yours, which means every time it's my turn, this spell, spell, this skill activates. So start of the game, it's my turn, this activates. But if it's the start of the game, I can't go up to 26 because you can't go higher than this because that's your like health points. So that would technically be useless. But if I was at like, nine i would go up to 11 without even rolling any point dice or anything i'll just get it for free so that's basically what that means but there are skills don't do this to me i know i saw it well i just saw one right there but looks like a melted marshmallow holding a pocket knife where's the good one there he is thing looks so weird <laughs> again these are bootleg let me show you the real one that's what, that's what it's going to look like. But anyway, so here we go. So Gamble, it says, When one of your battlers attack, the loser of that battle between your battler and your opponents takes... Does that say fakes? Takes two damage instead of one. Right? But it says you can only use this once, and you can choose when to use this. I can't, oh my, I just gave up. And then, so yeah. So this can only be used once, and it can only be used on my turn. And if it doesn't say anything like you, this can only be used once, you can choose when to use this, then you, it just activates every turn. Unless, well, there's another good one, right, I'm not prepared, Guardian, right here, it says down here, this card must be discarded during your opponent's next turn. So it will tell you when you can use it and everything, but if it doesn't say anything like that, then it happens every time. It's that turn, like guard up, uh, guardian, like armory right here. Plus three power to all your battlers. This can only be used every two turns, and it says yours. So it would activate this turn, and then next next time it's your turn, it won't activate. And then the next time it's your turn again, then you can use it. So there you go. So it pretty much changes, and also another thing, you I think I said in the beginning, you can also use multiple skill cards in a in a in a turn, which basically means that you can use gamble. Let me find it. And Armory, even though they both say yours. Before, you can only use one spell a turn, but now you can use two skills a turn because you only have two skills a deck, so you can use all the skills that you want if you can. You can only have two skills a deck, one copy of each, and yeah, you can use both of them if you want. And then this one, you can only use one, so you'll discard it. So basically... Also, you don't have to pay to use this, because you technically already did the point max value. I sh I, I, I'm guessing you already know that, but I'm just saying. So, there's actually a really cool starter deck I wanted to show you. And I'm, I'm going to make this a starter deck when the game's on untap. And hopefully, I can s actually make starter decks for sale when the cards are on Etsy. I just smacked you right in the face. 100 plus damage headshot. And, um... You guys can use this deck. Why did I just put the cards away? I literally need them. So the deck would probably be like... Uh, let's get Big Chin, Gargis, and Green Boyo. So it would probably be something like this. Where it has like one stronger card and like two like weaker... I mean, they're all weak. But it's uh, to keep like the points low and everything, right? Or, I mean, that's just what I'm thinking. That might be a little bit stronger. But you'll have these two skills right here. You have Droid and Guardian, and this deck will be called the Team Attack deck because basically what your strategy is is to get tons of battlers and just slam your opponent. So you you only each person or, you know each deck only has three battlers unless you have these two skills. So let me explain Droid because that one's really good. When this what when used this becomes a battler right, but with two health. And it's a, it's two points and it has the same stats as a two point bout. So pretty much what this skill is, 
it's a fourth battle order. That's pretty much what it is. It's an extra battle order, but it has two health instead of the normal three. And then it says when destroyed minus two points. So because if if this was destroyed it um it technically wouldn't minus two points because I mean now it's a battler card, but like it's 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 a little bit different, so but um yeah, because the uh the the skill points are a little bit different from the battlers because when the battlers die you lose this many points, but when you use the skill, you don't have to pay this again because you already did, so that's just there to like tell you that this card's literally a battler now. So yeah. So now you have four battlers, and then what Guardian does is his um he can also only be used opponent's turn. He could be used on any turn, which means you or your opponents. Or the third guy or the fourth guy, or your dog's turn. And he, uh, so far, he's three points. I don't know if I'm going to buffer or nerf this or not. And um, his ability is protect. So the first thing it does is end opponent's turn only if you took more than five damage this turn. I might change that. And then the two, I might like nerf it to be like seven damage or something. Oh, crap. And then the second one, the second thing that this card does is this skill becomes a battler with 21 power for every roll. And then the last part, I think I might have said this before, this card must be discarded after your opponent's, I mean, during your opponent's turn. Next turn. So, basically, let's say they attack, you take more damage and stuff. You use Guardian, you end his turn, now it's your turn. You play Droid, and you have Guardian out for this turn. So right now you have one, two, three, four, five battlers to attack. And one of them already has a guaranteed 21 power, Guardian. So, boom. That's a pretty nasty strategy. I'm, I'm probably going to change the battlers. I'm, it's probably going to be like three three-point battlers or something. And, um, yeah. And then when it's their turn, Guardian gets destroyed because it says this must be discarded. And then you just have the four. But, yeah, that's pretty much the idea around the deck. And I think it's actually going to be, like, really good. There's also, um, another skill that actually works really well with them. Um, Blood Forest actually works well with them. But, um, Armory also works really well. Because if you have, um, Droid or something, you can use Armory and then all your battlers, um, gain three power. And even though Droid is a skill card, it says he becomes a battler, so he's then classified as a battler card, so that that's really good. So now you can make some crazy good synergies and stuff. So that's going to do it for this video, because it's probably really long. Thank you for watching. Bye, go brush your teeth, and go to bed.